That never ever ends. Come to the bounty, come to the feast. We gather the people from this then land and a fellowship of faith, molded in pay of faith. A joyful oblation to men. Come to the banquet, come to the feast, a grand celebration of thanksgiving, a graceful season that never ever end. Come to the bounty, come to the feast. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And your, your spirit. spirit. Good day, good morning, good evening to all of you who are now on this live streaming. As we come together in the Eucharist, let us be mindful of God's mercy to all of us, most especially manifested through Our Lady of Pina Francia. But for the many times that we have not fully accepting of this gift of forgiveness, let us ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess, confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you my, brother, my brothers and, and sisters, sisters that I, I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts in my, my words, words. In what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord. Of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Lord God, the heavenly King, O oh God, oh my mighty God, God and Father, we praise you, we bless you, we, bless you. we, we adore, adore you, we glorify, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. 
You are honored the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him, to our God who, who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sponsorial song. The response is, The Lord is close to all who call him. The Lord is close. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. The Lord is close to all who call him. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, he is slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. The Lord is close to all who call him. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ. For that is far better. Yet that I remain the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us open our minds in our hearts for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a householder who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right I will give you. So they went. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. At about the eleventh hour, he went out and found other others standing, and he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into my vineyard. And then evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last after the priests. When those who hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when the priest came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the householder, saying, This last wait only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give this last as I gave you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first will be last. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Well, may take off my my mask anyway. I'm far away from you. So uh, this vineyard owner, this householder, has a very different kind of mathematics. It seems uh, he does not know our math. He does not know our economics. Because it gives freely. That's why it is but right that this uh, this guy, who are these people who have borne the heat of day uh, to grumble. Anyway, brothers and sisters, that is what uh, what our usual. That is our usual. And then this pe- we are not really we are not really used to. Uh, receiving uh, receiving this generosity of God. His generosity is really unaccounted for. He seems to be telling us that uh, everything is gift, including our life is gift. And we don't earn anything. We don't deserve anything from God. Everything is gift. But why is it that we cannot really receive? Why is it that we cannot accept the, this generosity of God? Why? Because we have been conditioned. We have been conditioned. Our mathematics is very different. We have been conditioned at least or else where we seem to be entitled to these gifts. Gift, brothers and sisters, is fully undeserved. We cannot, it seems to us that we cannot understand that. And yet, God is really very generous. God is really, is all giving, giving us even His very own Son. 
Do you know what he did? In order for us to be able to get away from this conditioning, he had chosen to send his son born of a woman. Born of a woman. The feminine side of God. The feminine uh, face of God. Mama Mary. Because whenever we are sick, whenever we are sick, we always look for our mother. Mama! Sakit dito! We always say, Inai! We always do that. But in this pandemic, whenever we are sick, the, maybe this is the positive side of this pandemic. Whenever we are sick, kapag uh, nilagnat ka, kapag nilagnat tayo, hindi lang ang nanay ang, it's not only our mother who is worried. The whole barangay is worried. The whole barangay, the whole town is worried. We become a statistic. O oh, mayroon na dyan sa Santo Domingo na COVID positive. Nako, mag-ingat kayo. Di ba? I don't know whether that is positive or negative. We are entering into a different kind of uh, seeing, a different paradigm. That's why brothers and sisters, God is really completely looking for us. Because it is through our mother, through our lady of Pina Francia, that all the, pe all the sick are always looking into. I have seen so many sick people, most especially in the ICU, uh, getting their, this, mantle, this mantle of our lady of Pina Francia being placed as a blanket. And many of them are healed. Many of them are healed. That's why there are plenty of uh, of this mantle being given or being borrowed or being stolen. That's why one time we were healing and then it seems that I left my chasuble and then some people grabbed them and kept them and then it went all around. I was very angry because they were making me a relic. I'm not. I'm not the same. But because because of the faith of our people, because of the faith of our people, because especially uh, they they received through the mother, Nanai, Our Lady of Pina Francia. Now this is a challenge for all of us. This is a challenge for all of us, brothers and sisters. Not only to see our mother, our Lady Pina Francia, not only to see her devotedly, but for us, as a whole family, whole family of nations. Now, we have become a very great, fam a very big family because of this pandemic. We are all in need, all, all of us are in need of mother. All of us are in need of the graciousness of God. The healing presence of God. So, all of us are commissioned to be the healing presence of God. Through our devotion to Our Lady of Peña Francia. This is then. I believe in God. Almighty. Amen. 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 All, all things visible and invisible. Must be seen by the power of the Holy Spirit. Born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. Suffered and died. Was God. crucified, died, and resurrected. He descended into the dead. Again. And then shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's be seated for the offering. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this spread we offer work of our hands. Fruit of earth, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to you, goodness, this wine we offer, food of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and ever right to give you thanks, Father Most Holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things. Whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Dupal. May become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put up for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again, until you come again We proclaim your death, O Lord Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Louis, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your bell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the, body, of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Now let us remember all our dear ones who have passed away from this life. Members of our families, relatives and friends, those who have recently died, most especially our frontliners, and those who have no one to remember them anymore. They are all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints of Jesus throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life by praising and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Empowered by the Holy Spirit, with Jesus and Mary, let us call God our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace in unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another this peace and love of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. This is Jesus. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to partake of the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be accepted. I am not worthy to be in the world and my soul shall be healed. our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. What have we to offer the dust that fade or wither? Can the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our hearts in vain? We deny in Him alone is our hope, in Him alone is our strength, in Him alone. Are we justified in Him 
unknown or we say. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now before the final blessing, let us uh, invite the Holy Spirit to come to each one of us. Those far and near. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Now let us pray for the person on our right. Let us extend our right hand over the person on our right. All of you who are also attending this uh, in the TV, in your cell phones, touch your cell phones or your computer or your TV screen. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you, we adore you, we give you thanks for giving us this opportunity of healing one another. Lord, we offer you our petitions, the petitions of all those who are sick in the hospitals, in the houses, and those who are no longer remembered, sick in their own homes or houses. We offer you, Lord, our petition. May you grant us the healing through our Father Momoy, whom you entrust the healing ministry. We ask you, Lord, to heal us and grant us our petition for healing. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray also for the person on our left. Give you thanks, Lord, for this healing Eucharist and for the sacraments we receive. Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of life, for the gift of faith, for the gift of healing of this healing ministry, and for the gift 
O Father, mumoy as your instrument to heal us of our sicknesses, O body and soul. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings and for the answered prayers and intentions that we receive in accordance to your will. We ask for your forgiveness, for your forgiveness and mercy, Lord, for the sins and guilt and for the faults and failures we've done. And we ask for your guidance and directions for us to follow your command. I lift up to you, Lord, my brothers and sisters, to my left. And we ask for your blessings to cure our sickness and to heal our impurities and differences. All this we ask in Jesus' name and through the intercession of Mama Mary, Our Lady of Pina Francia. Amen. Now, uh, Gigi, please. Gigi will uh, will represent uh, all of us who are sick. We will be praying over her, and then we all also meaning to say we'll pray over you, all you who are sick, physically, emotionally, psychologically. While we sing, we ask the. We ask Mama Mary, we ask Mama Mary to uh, to pray for us, pray with us. This way, na vibrante. Suene vibrante el himno de amor que entona tu pueblo con grata emoción. Suene vibrante el himno de amor que entona tu pueblo con grata emoción. Patrona del Vico, Gran Madre de Dios, sé siempre la reina de nuestra región. Patrona del Vico, Gran Madre de Dios, sé siempre la reina de nuestra región. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Viva la Virgen! Viva! Viva la Virgen! Viva! Viva la Virgen! Viva! Viva la Virgen! Viva la Virgen! Thank you. Give thanks to the grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. To those who are uh, watching uh, this coverage uh, via online, uh, we will wait for Father Momoy to come out because uh, he will uh, have a separate uh, healing session for those of you who are watching now online. So uh, kindly please prepare yourselves. Have a moment of silence. And uh, Father Momoy will now have the healing session.
Dahil naman tabi ni Bunding sa live streaming, off camera na. Thank you very much. Salamat na si Nina Bunding, si Mark, si Mar, and this is DB, uh, through Glenn. Salamat po. So, we will now, uh, off camera na po ito. Tati ba ang kung mariparo niya? Dakulo niya nagdurumanki. Pada mo mo'y 